glycosuria, medicine, terebinthini, oleum, also known as turpentine and terebinthina. The purpose of knowledge shared here is only educational and to increase awareness. Please always consult your doctor before taking any medicine. Self-treatment may always be injurious. Glycosuria, अर्थात पेशाब में शुगर आना डायबिटीज की बीमारी कभी ठीक नहीं होती है ऐसा विश्वास किया जाता है किंतु यह निराधार तथा भ्रामक है और सत्य नहीं है यदि आपको ग्लाइकोसूर्या है पेशाब में शुगर आ रही है जहां आप पेशाब करते हैं वहां छींटे लग जाते हैं और यहां बताए गए लक्षण आपको हैं तो आपके लिए टेरीबिंथना उपयुक्त दवा है डोज इज सजेस्टेड एट द एंड इलाज के लिए दवा की मात्रा और पोटेंसी अंत में बताई गई है आइए जाने कि ग्लाइकोसूर्या नामक बीमारी में दवा टेरे बिंथिना कब उपयोगी है वेन टू यूज टेरे बिंथिना इन ग्लाइकोसूर्या इन एबिलिटी टू कंसंट्रेट द माइंड डल लैंग्वेड माइंड रिलीव्ड बाय फ्रीकेंट मिक्चुरेशन डिस्पॉन्डेंसी वेरीड ऑफ लाइफ ऑब्सक्योरेशन ऑफ साइट संकिन फीचर्स लिप्स क्रैक्ड एंड स्लाइटली ब्लीडिंग इपिस्टैक्सिस स्पंजी गम्स टंग ड्राई एंड रेड फाउल ब्रीथ हंगर एंड थर्स्ट विद डेबिलिटी एवर्जन टू मीट रेंसी डायरेक्टेड इरेक्टेशन बर्निंग इन स्टमक एंड हाइपोकॉन्ड्रिया टिम्पेनाइटिस एल्ब्यूनेरिया विद फ्रीक्वेंट मिक्चुरेशन शुगर इज नोटिस्ड इन यूरिन Glycosuria after large doses of oil terebinth aaiye jaane medicine terebinthina ke kuch anya mahatvapurna lakshan children are particularly sensitive to its action illness caused by sleeping in newly painted rooms is due to due in great part to the turpentine burning is a constant note and gives the key to many cases calling for terebinth burning in gums tongue tip of tongue mouth throat stomach rectum and anus kidneys bladder and urethra uterus air passages chest and sternum burning in the sternum was particularly noticed after warm drinks the pain running along the sternum with the drink and is spreading in the chest burning extends from kidneys along ureters terebinth is an irritative sensitive remedy teething children when they fly into patients there is irritation of the meninges and often escharoids or other intestinal worms mania calfari spasms and convulsions feet sore by walking applied turpentine to them followed by a state like hydrophobia she had spasms whenever she saw water or heard it poured or saw a bright object and also when air whenever he see attempted to urinate hematuria smoky turbid urine depositing a sediment like coffee grounds dull pain or burning pain in region of kidneys burning during maturation albuminuria and hematuria after scarlatina and also to the consequent dropsy burning in uterus peritonitis metritis metrorrhagia if the burning is present passive hemorrhages blood dark and fetid purpura hemorrhagica if there are fresh ecchymoses in great numbers from day to day the hemorrhages may occur from any orifice a smooth glassy red tongue as if deprived of papilla excessive tympanitis drowsiness 
skin, capillary bronchitis, the child is drowsy, stupor and great weakness are found in many terebinth conditions, rendering it appropriate in cases of typhus, typhoid and uremic poisoning. Drowsy with retention of urine. With the tempinites, there is generally extreme sensitiveness to touch. With cystitis and urogenital and rectal troubles, there is sensitiveness of hypogastrium and pains in symphysis pupils. Pains go from left to right across bowels and then shoot upward. Bronchial asthma with hematuria. Terebinth antidotes and is antidoted by phosphorus. Cold sweat of lower limbs and rapid pulse with the distension are leading indications. Pains in the bowels which cause frequent micturition. Peculiar sensations are sensation as if he would pitch forward on walking. Sensation as of a bent round head. Sensation as if sand thrown violently in eyes. Sensation as of a sea cell sounding in left ear. Sensation in ear as of a striking of a clock. Sensation as from hasty swallowing in epigastrium. Sensation as if he had swallowed a bullet which had lost in pit of his stomach. Sense of anxiety and utter prostration about epigastrium. Umbilical region as if covered with a round cold plate. Sensation as if intestines were being drawn towards the spine. Sensation as if abdomen distended with platus. Sensation as if diarrhea would set in. Sensation as if inguinal hernia would appear. Sensation as if symphysis pubis were suddenly forced asunder. Sensation as if foreign body had entered windpipe. Sensation as from electric shocks, twitching of limbs, crawling, trembling as if parts were asleep. Sensation as if hot water running through a tube in nerve. Spinal pains, contusive pains, and rheumatic pains, pressure and drying pains. Terebinth is suitable to the effects of injury and rheumatic conditions. Terebinth is especially suited to children, dentition, nosebleed, worms, bleeders, nervous women, amenorrhea, dysmenorrhea, headache, complaints of old people, a people of sedentary habits, chronic rheumatism and gouty complaints. The symptoms are worse by touch, worse by pressure. Pressure in region of bladder causes convulsions. Effects of falls and injuries, worse lying on left side, better turning to right. Sitting aggravates, stooping ameliorates, motion aggravates. Pain in crest of ilium worse from motion and least jar. Walking in open air aggravates. Worse at night, 1 to 3 a.m. Damp dwellings aggravate. Damp cellar causes diarrhea. Damp weather causes neuralgia in legs. Terebinth is hydrogenoid. Cold water ameliorates burning in anus. Better from belching and passing flatus. Loose stool ameliorates nausea. Relations. Terebinth is antidoted by phosphorus. Terebinth is antidote to phosphorus and mercurius. Terebinth is followed well by mercacor. Hemorrhage in typhus, alumina, melena, arnica. Albuminuria, arsenic, smoky urine, dropsy after scarletna, dry glossy tongue, lachesis, terebinth has more tympanitis, capillary bronchitis, drowsiness, lungs clogged up, urine is scanty, almost dark from blood.
epica dropsy from kidney congestion heliborus renal congestion smoky urine colchicum arctic area after eating selfish epis artica urens glazed tongue calibichrome lexis pyrogen hematuria pulsatilla burning tip of tongue muriatic acid burning in anus and rectum fainting and exhaustion after a stool arsenic worms with foul breath choking sina and spicelia purpura fresh ecchymosis in great numbers from day to day sulfuric acid burning and drying in kidneys bladder and urethra barberis cannabis sativa cantharis passive hemorrhages stranguri camphor metritis peritonitis bearing down burning in hypogastrium cloudy dark muddy urine tongue dry red belladonna guitar in children pixel cuta umbilicus retracted plumbum kidney ache centella warmth at warmth at heart calmia rhododendron lacnanthes pains cause frequent micturition thuja urging to urinate accompanies the symptoms rheumatism sulfur terebinth causation alcohol falls strains tooth extraction damp cellars dose first to sixth potency one drop in 10 ml water two times a day or as advised by your doctor thank you